my savior from everyday worries <laughs> when you just go here in the nature and do yoga and then meditate this is just the best time spending in the morning for me well today actually my is my day off it's monday but you know we've got a messy schedule at work so i've got a day off today and i have a lot of things that i've been postponing to do these are just usual chores that always sit in your mind and can't give you sleep and you just need to just do it and move on <laughs> i have my list of things i actually don't believe that if you give your brain more than five things a day to do it will feel okay like let's do it now your brain will just freak out and will not want to do any of that because there's just too much and it feels your brain i mean it feels like it's a big pile of work so i decided to choose for myself four to five things today first start with yoga in the park i did that then i got a published checklist on patreon watch bathroom film a video another video not this one finish the script first and shouldn't publish clothes on Olix. Olix is the local eBay I guess. I always thought that days off should be lazy and in my mind this was like a very strong conviction that a day off should be a day off. I should have no chores in my to-do list but you know what with this mindset I started to feel sad when I had some chores to do in the weekend so I had to do something right. I can't just you know lay down looking at the ceiling and do nothing I just have some chores to do at least cook some dinner and with this mindset like days off should be lazy whenever I did something in the weekend I felt like it was not a good day off I felt like I was not lazy enough to feel happy this is why I started to feel a little bit sad I started to imagine that I was tired you know <laughs> like oh my god I have to do so much stuff and it's my day off and this is just not how it works we will never have the days that are absolutely lazy at least you need to do to go and take a shower and you know vacuum the floor or whatever yeah maybe once in a while i'll have like really lazy days off but it's usually it's not a thing i need to just switch my mindset towards yes i have some chores to do but let's be happy in those chores during those things that i had to do and let's be in the moment while i am just washing my bathroom that's what i'm planning to do today i just want to feel today like it's a day off a real day off although i have some chores and work to do I mean the day off from my usual uh, full-time job, of course, I have to film and edit and all that stuff. Come with me and do this all! There was a pair. So I think I'm start with the easiest and with the fastest thing I can do, you know, by David Allen. You should do immediately things that take like up to two minutes. And I guess this makes sense because, you know, I just do it and then later I can go to the more... Let's start with the shortest task, like publish checklist on Patreon. Also, actually I wanted to draw monthly spread in my bullet journal and actually I need to enter some of the things that I spent money on here because I track my expenses. Okay, doesn't seem like five tasks anymore. <laughs> Let's start with the Patreon page. everything and we're done here. Read how to collect the bags in such a kind of a bag. Do it simply and quickly. If you are interested, continue watching. Okay, so I finished my first task and I think I'm gonna just spread the detergent 
on my bathroom while it's gonna you know do the work <laughs> right there I will go ahead and film a video because I feel like this is you know the biggest the most important the most prioritized task so I want to do it right away and then all the rest unfortunately I threw away all my masks because nobody requires them anymore but I need a mask to use that detergent it's quite harsh what do I do now probably die from cancer <laughs> whether my diet is healthy enough or not. I know this is not. <sighs> Let's have a look at our to-do list. Publish checklist on Patreon, wash, wash bathroom, film a video, finish the script first, shoot and publish clothes on Alex. But anyway, let's go finish the bath. Okay, didn't work the way I wanted it to. That's weird. see those little stars they're dancing from the water funny well i'm done with the bath i tried to wipe it really really harshly so that all the rust can go away and we can check this task from our list Okay, so we're done with almost everything. Uh, the only thing that's left is to take photos of the things that I decluttered. I actually am guilty of preaching something that I don't follow myself because I let these clothes sit here in the in the closet for about two months of store decluttering or even maybe three months and I always put off the taking photo and publishing part <laughs> because I want to give them away first and then if I can't then I will just put it next to the rubbish containers near our home because I don't really know some services that would fit me that would you know consider recycling this stuff actually we don't recycle clothes here at least I don't know of the uh, services that do that I'm gonna take photos and I'm done for today it's two o'clock 2 p.m. now I'm already tired I want to just I want to just go to the market and, and buy some strawberries I think I'm gonna make my bullet journal for June because in June I have just a lot of stuff and the weird schedule at work so I think I need to put everything that's in my mind on the paper not to get crazy with that let, let, let's move on to the clothes
Many of clothes that I decluttered actually had stains and were really poor quality, so I didn't even bother to uh, publish them on the platform I usually use to sell things. And I don't really have energy to try to give them away, so I will just take them out to the dumpster. And I know a lot of homeless people around here may need it. Please leave a comment about the things that are in your list of the things that you've been putting off but still have to do. It's still not the end of my list. It's just a couple of things that I've been planning to do for a while. And if you're interested in some other of my videos, this is about things that I buy more of as a minimalist. And here you will find the link to my Patreon page. If you want to support my channel, please join. Thank you very much for getting things done with me and hope you will have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.